Welcome to the printing tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, print in Autodesk's Revit Structure 2012. The same applies for Autodesk's Revit Architecture. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to print or to scale A naughts down to A3. Now we normally do this because we don't, if we're marking drawings up or marking plans up, we don't want to be printing A naughts off or the large sheets, we're wasting paper. Um, so you know they're only going to get marked on. We're not issuing them to clients or for tender purposes or anything like that. It's just for marking up or for for previewing. So you need to be able to scale down your uh, your sheet so it fits to A3. Now this was quite a simple process to do in AutoCAD. It's not as simple in Revit. So let's go to this tab. You go to print. Select your large format printer for your A threes. Go to properties. Ensure this is set to A three, which it is. Don't worry about these. These are normally greyed out. This is all by default. Current window, which is this extent here, which is set in your um, your family file for your sheets. Now go to setup. As you can see, this is already set to A three. This was done within the properties. This is done automatically. You've got your different options here that I went through in previous videos. <coughs> Center the plot on the page. Now, this is the most important part here to get it to fit. So we're dealing with an A naught and we want it to fit on an A3 sheet. So we go fit to page. No, sorry, my mistake. You go to zoom. Okay, so zoom. Normally you would go fit to, if we say we're using AutoCAD, you would use fit to, but it doesn't it doesn't always work and it doesn't always get the full sheet in so we use zoom now you need to know these percentages I'll put these in the description to the video um, and the percentage to, to scale an A naught to an A3 is 35% so we'll change this to 35 like I said I will put this in the description so you can um, you know take a note of these for yourself you say okay Ask you if you want to save these settings so you don't have to do this again. You can do that if you want, it's up to you, and then they'll come down in this drop down menu. We'll say no in this case. Okay, so that's it, as simple as that. You can preview it, and this will preview, this uh, this sheet will preview and fit on an A3. And you say okay to print. 